Hey, this is Tamara signing on with Super Mario Sunshine, as the Mario so boldly announced. All right, I've been meaning to play this for such a long time, and I'm kind of in a funk right now, so now's as good as time as any. So, Super Mario Sunshine, yeah, released in 2002, was it? Um, and this was my first 3D Mario game. Uh, I'm waiting to see if it will redo the opening cutscene, if we just wait on it, otherwise I might have to start the game over just to get it. But, this was my first 3D Mario game, where, you know, my parents had a, um, an NES, and SNES, and so I grew up on Mario, Mario 3, Super Mario World, and then eventually we got a GameCube, and we had things like, you know, Star Fox Adventures and Luigi's Mansion, which, now that I say it out loud, it's just like, oh, right, well, <laughs> technically Luigi's Mansion counts as a Mario game, but anyways, but first proper Mario game was Super Mario Sunshine, and so I thought I'd go back and play it again via, you know, the Mario 3D collection. Uh, wait, just a second, that's right, we can just go to title screen on this game? Okay, on the collection. Yeah, D doing the 3D All-Stars collection, but we'll pop that back in. Just so we can get the opening cutscene. Sleeveless Peach, damn. <laughs> yeah, getting into it. So, yeah, sorry, just like, I wanted to play something. Nothing's, like scratching itches right now and just like I want to play Mario. I tried playing Mario 64 a while back and it just wasn't grabbing me because my family skipped over the N64 um, and we got a GameCube so yeah this is why this is why you know when I think 3D Mario this is what comes to mind like I eventually played Galaxy 2 I only played Galaxy when the 3D collection came out of Isle Del Pino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Del Pino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Ooh. <laughs> the shot. Oh my god. That's odd. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing, he's just thinking about food. Just wanted a Toad's worth imagining them hula skirt in a hula skirt dancing. It's like Toad's worth. Sorry, uh, responding to a text, ironically, also about uh, Mario Sunshine. But, whoops, no, not C. But yeah, I did some, I started up, played a level, because I was doing some audio testing. Last time, I, well, recently I played a game from the early 2000s, and the audio was horrible, because the game audio was way too loud, and it's hard to adjust audio on the Elgato 4K capture. You have to use the, um... What was it called? The Wavelink, and adjust a thing from there. But I think I got it figured out. Just, like, reduce the game audio by, like, 30%. So I think it should be clear enough after some of the tests I ran. I should look up the cast. Who do we got? Uh, cause, yeah, this was Charles Martinet, obviously, as Mario at this point. Cause that was starting with 64, right? Peach, maybe you need some water. You're seeing hallucinations. It's just a mirage. I Not that there's much. With the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat, Master Mario, if you would cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Jen Taylor for Peach. Did she? Is that also a recurring voice? Okay, Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. You got it. Oh, 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 oh. Oop, a little slippery. A little slippery. Yeah, he's all gooped up. 
and a big M lying around. That's weird. Well, don't know what to do about that. Let's take a quick bath, get nice and squeaky. What's this thing over here? This game does have a little, it takes a little time tutorializing, but once we get there. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the button to shoot water from my pool. Sorry, still responding to text. I just don't want to be. If you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, <coughs> no water can be sprayed. Sorry, replying to texts, now I'm getting distracted and I'm also being reminded it's like, oh yeah, I got laundry to do. And press the button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Uh, we don't need to hear the explanation again. Uh, just give me a second now, I'm getting distracted. Back, sorry, I'm getting distracted now tonight. Uh, and it's like, oh yeah, I got, like, clothes to throw in. It's almost nine o'clock. I should probably throw those in before I forget. But, okay, sorry. We are going, and we got the game's main gimmick as Flood. Or Flood. Uh, where, yeah, he can spray water. You got a little jetpack. And you can stationary and move around. You know, taking a look at this wanted poster, that's weird, that kind of looks like us. But okay, getting on track with the game itself. And I realized, like, oh yeah, we can, like, spin in the air and shoot water. Clear a lot of the space, so now we have more, uh, area to run around in. And pretty simple as, yeah, we just gotta spray the mouth of this, uh, you know, Gooey piranha plant is what it looks like. Oh god! Oh dear! I was gonna say, can we set up in the way that the shine sprite will land right on us? And hey, a shiny thing to pick up as a reward. We did it. Again, my family skipped over the N64, so, you know, like, to me, this was, like, all Mario Sunshine's idea of just sort of, like, you know, doing objectives and levels and then finding, a, like, a star uh, equivalent at the end, and it was so thrilling. It's the fuzz! Cheese it! What happened? <laughs> just Mario's blank stare, just like, what is going on? Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. I was gonna say, it, it was weird going from just sort of like, you know, the 2D Mario games where you just go, and then uh, Mar first 3D Mario game I played starts with a court trial. ...of what is going on. So it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? Huh. It's quite obvious. Sorry, I'm looking up. Graffiti is I'll get to that in a moment. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Oh, jeez. Court adjourned.
Well, didn't expect this to go. Good thing they didn't search me and take off my weapons. verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. It's the system itself. You witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only it's way depressing. to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. Well, we should get out there and go start at it. Are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow, what a world, eh, Flood? Best to resolve this situation. <coughs> I was going to say, crams in the entire game in a day. We don't need the explanation again. We're being framed. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you commit police brutality because we got phones everywhere these days and I'm bringing it back t uh, 20 years to make that point. It didn't quite land. Moving on. But here we go. As we're into Isle Delfino. I'm kind of like a festive looking place, but, you know, uh, it's pretty dim at the moment. Deb's alert. It seems several people have gone missing near the Grand P Pianta statue in Bianco Square. Where's any of this? We got the map. So we just got like Delfino Plaza. That was, we're in Isle Delfino. Um, like new area, first time seeing this in the Mario world, you know, very dolphin shaped, so that's why. And then our um, total scores that we don't have much of because we just started. Talk to Peach. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I just knew you would be. And I looked it up. Jen Taylor. It's like, that name sounds familiar. Oh, that was Cortana and like, yeah, all the, uh, sorry, in the, uh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, in Halo. I couldn't think of the name. And she voiced Princess Peach up to like, you know, pretty recently too. And why is the sky so dark? Dark, huh? It's not so sun drenched. It's not sun drenched. This is hardly my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Well, princess, I'm a bit preoccupied trying to clear my name, you know, clean my name along with this whole island. Hey, you now we can help out. Clean up some of this area so it makes it easier for us to move. You got like little like uh, slimes coming out of the goop. But where is all this goo coming from? What is this? Whoops. I was gonna say, even just getting like a splash in that thing's mouth works. So yeah, jumping up in the air. I realize I've learned tricks. Well, that was one big spot. We can go home now. Clearly, there's no other place on this island that's messy. Princess, look! On the statue's head! It's got a face! Mario? I should probably run, but I'm just gonna keep staring at him. Oh dear! <laughs> Well, so, and then suddenly that happens, where it's like, okay, so, a kidnapping. Stop the criminal in his tracks with some water. Stop him. Blah, blah, blah. I remember that sound bit. Chase this guy down. Oh, we got him. Ow, wow, wow. Not fair. Completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. Funny you saying that. Oh, that's right. We gotta... He's heading for the square. Go get him. Where'd he go? There he is. You get back here. Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to do the jump. Camera's a little bit fiddly. Ouch. Should have. Mario, 
Mario. He escaped into the graffiti, Mario. Try spraying it with water. Right, oh, pressing the wrong buttons, too. And we've activated it. So, kind of like, hold on. That's right. Okay, we'll deal with that later. We're going to focus on the first world. So, kind of like in Mario Sun, or er, 64, Bianco Hills, Road to the Big Windmill. <coughs> So kind of like Mario 64, yeah, like those are our portals to get into different worlds where we have different missions to do to get the shine sprites. Go! Just pointing that way. I'm trying to remember right, it's X to dive. Whoop. Do some tight roping. Whoops, ah, shoot. Okay, I'm trying to get used to the controls. It's been a while, but yeah, now we're getting into it. It's just like the large sunshine, you know, this, it's Mario sunshine. I realize how that dude sounded, but it's just like, you know, sunshine in the title is right because it is so bright and so like, you know, lively. And you know, right now we're in like this quaint little village. I can't remember. Is there like a hundred coin star in these ga in this game, or how does this work again? I gotta look it up. Uh, how do we dive? Right. Blue coins. Save and continue. And you know that's one of our main collectibles for the game. Get up. Oop! You got the ledge. Get up. There we go. Okay, getting used to the controls, because I do realize, like, the controls aren't flawless, as I may have remembered, but it still works really well. I like the mechanics Flood allows us to use. <clears throat> Trying to step on. There we go. Will you guys chill out? What are you running around for? I could ask you what's up, but I'm moving on. Sorry, I'm having fun. It's just like, oh, it's so clean and festive. Whoops. I uh, collected and visit the boathouse in Delfino Plaza. So yeah, the blue coins are just like another currency we collect throughout the game in order to, you know, just trade them in for more shine sprites. But we'll get there when we get there. Sorry, I'm not just trying to like, I'm trying to like also enjoy the atmosphere. I'm just trying not to like blitz through it because like, yeah, I've played this before, it's like, I don't remember what I can do, so I can just, like, go without, like, acknowledging anything, but I'm trying to slow down. <clears throat> Is there another blue coin around here? Well, I suppose we'll be around here enough to find the stuff I'm missing, because there's quite a bit to exploring to do. Watching Flood go crazy. <laughs> there we go. That's actually very efficient for... Come on. There we go. I realize I'm making the camera go crazy. There we go. Sorry, I realize I could just stand still and then spray him, but it's fun to move around and do stuff like that. <clears throat> I was just looking. I heard the coin bounce. Oops, missing it, missing it, missing it. Sorry, I'm out of practice. And so, you know, as we're going through, we're just tutorializing. It's just like, all right, do this again, giving more room to explore. Like, where Mario 64, like, ended with a boss fight to, like, set the stage in its first, like, major level. You know, we're kind of getting up to that now with this next one. Bianco Hills, 
Down with Petey Piranha. Hmm, come get me. <laughs> and yeah, we got a start point and we're going. Like, I wanted to, you know, I've been meaning to play Mario Sunshine on the channel for a, like, a long time. It was like a nostalgic game for me, but didn't have a GameCube, uh, you know, or a copy of this game anymore. Because, yeah, when I had this as a kid, I played it a ton. You know, I never 100 percent it, it, um, but... You know, I tried, spent a lot of time with it. Me and my dad, like, you know, played this for a good while. I'm trying to remember, like, what grade was I in when I got this? Uh, I was like, how do I get over that? Right. Whoop, shoot. Okay. There's blue coins over there, and we'll worry about that later. Come on. <sighs> okay. Sorry, I'm using up too much water. Okay, uh, where was I? Oop, blue coin. Might as well go get that real quick. Sorry, what was I talking about? Yeah, me and my dad played this a bit because, yeah, growing up on, like, uh, what was it? My, uh... Okay, I'm trying to say, I remember, don't remember. I think it was Mom who had the... Super Nintendo and Dad had the regular Nintendo and that pulling that together was like, you know, the nostalgic library of the games I grew up on. Uh, but anyways, so, you know, the big games were, you know, classic Legend of Zelda, um, original Super Mario, uh, Mario 3, especially on the NES, but then in SNES there was like, you know, Super Mario World, which is still one of my favorite Marios, like also alongside 3, but you know. It's a given for, like, their status. Um, but then it's like, yeah, my family skipped over the N64. I didn't even know it was a thing for the longest time. But we got a GameCube, and we had, like, Luigi's Mansion, and, uh, what else? Well, Luigi's Mansion, which I found terrifying as a kid. Whoop, hey, that kind of worked out in my favor. Okay, I was like, yeah, we can refill our water nozzle here. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, which was kind of scary, and uh, Star Fox Adventures, which me and my dad played, mostly him, uh, because, like, it was just sort of, like, Legend of Zelda puzzly um, that we, well, though, in a weird way, I've said this before, Star Fox uh, Adventures was my first 3D Zelda game. <laughs> Uh, sorry, but like that game was hard and then also scary in some of its bigger moments, but so it's like it was a while before I had a game for me And I know we had other games before we got this well Sonic Heroes. That was definitely one of my first like GameCube games Um, and that's you know was also my start on 3d Sonic Is there something in there? No, nope, in the video. I see something but can't quite make it out, but either way we'll come back for it probably if it is a thing but yeah, that's being my first 3D Mario game. Like the technology jump is massive. Like six or from Super Mario to 64 was also like a big leap. Uh, skipping 64 and seeing this was insane. <laughs> and of course, being a kid, this was hilarious. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, it's on. As we got, got like this P 
Kitty Parada, Baby Parada, which is kind of unsettling seeing like a, uh, you know, Piranha plant with legs of any kind. Well, what's our main form of attack? Well, it's just spraying water. So, we've learned how to... Whoops. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to remember. Is it the left trigger? You know, all we've been taught so far is to, like, when a piranha opens its mouth, spray water in it. So, we're doing that exact same thing here. Don't you avoid it. Drink up. <laughs> I always thought it was weird that, like, the weak point was it's, like, inflated belly button popping out as we just, like, drown this thing in water. <laughs> Again, it's tutorializing. It's like, here's how you've already been learning how your, uh, you know, your device works in combat, so this is taking it to its extreme. That's actually very disturbing. Wee! Oh. Yeah, I don't know, as a kid, that was, like, such an exciting boss fight, you know? It was just, like, it had a funny... It was, like, iconic for me and my friends uh, when I introduced this to them. Because, you know, it was just sort of, like... It starts off with that, like, funny, just like, oh, dear, we're screwed. Um, and it just cascades deeper into that. Now, I was debating, and I'm still debating on... How I wanted to, like, progress. Because I don't... I think I'm gonna bother 100%ing it. If I remember where that is. I don't think I'm gonna 100% this game, but I want to play quite a bit of it. So I was debating on how I want to, like, you know, spread things out. Got it? Oh, I get there faster. I now remember the trick because we can Coming through peach. Oh god There we go almost got enough for a shine sprite already, but you know as we progress through levels and unlock shine sprites We you know open up more levels, so I'm debating on if I want to well I'm debating for like titling and like uh, consistency purposes. Maybe we'll stick to a couple more of the missions inside this world and then we'll move on to the next world next time. I'm debating how I want to pace that out because I was thinking it's like, well, what if we cracked out every single mission in a world in a video? I don't know if I'll go that far. Uh, the Hillside Cave Secret. This one kind of being a pain to get to. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I also now realize, like, the tutorializing they're doing there, just like, well, um, you know, if you can use water to, you know, or that first spot, it's like, well, water, if you dive into it, then you can slide. Well, if you can prep or shoot water all the time, phew, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. I okay, couldn't remember if they did anything useful. But you know, cleaning them off is a good thing to do. Uh, we're doing good deeds to make up for the things that we didn't do wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how we get up to there. Uh, ooh, here we go. I think this is it. Try to remember, it's been a bit. Because I don't think. Because in many ways, this, uh, you know, this isn't, um,. Well, uh, no, Mario 64... Well, okay, this doesn't give you as much freedom as Mario 64 did, if I want to phrase it like that, where it's like, you can't really do certain things out of order because you have to go on a mission a certain way in order for certain things to open up. So, unless we could get to this cave early, but whatever. Either way, we're there now. Huh? You jerk! But yeah, this is also one like one of the most fondly remembered like uh, you know sections of the game are these you know basically Mario 64 levels without fl uh, flood. So 
we're just Mario, and we gotta get through, like, these abstract areas of just, like, platforming and obstacles. Get out of the way. Okay, we're good. Oh, God! I dove out of the way, and I just kept moving. Okay. But, yeah. Then there are some levels where, yeah, you get these, like, abstract starscape missions where you lose Flood because fake Mario, goddammit, <laughs> comes in and snatches him up. And I remember encountering... The first one of the level I... Or, first one of those that I encountered was, like, way later into the game. So, like, when that first happened, it was, like, shocking and kind of scary because he just comes out of nowhere. And it's just, like, the music they set up for that is, like... Oh, god damn it. I gotta be more patient. Sorry. I'm like, we're on a roll here. Nope. But, you know, this acapella version of the theme song is cute. Whoops. Whoops. Ah, forget it. Just get the thing and then we're done. <laughs> I got the thing back, but my friend is still missing. I'm sure he'll come back. And yeah, as you exit, or, you know, go back to the world, it'll, like, point out, it's like, here's a thing that you can go do, just to, like, keep the pace going. But we'll go back in. What's the next mission? I don't remember. Uh, Bianco Hills. Red Coins of the Windmill Village. Ah, shoot. I hate Red Coin missions. <laughs> I find them so annoying in every game. Yeah, this one should be... It's the first one. It should be pretty doable. And they specify the village, so they can't be that spread out. So yeah, I'm sorry. A lot to talk about with, like, Mario 64. Ooh. Uh, do we get these now? Oh, the gadget we already got. Okay. Remember, you can use this. And, like, there are other flood gadgets that we can equip, but I don't remember. Those unlock, like, way later. That might be, like, one of the big sticking points about, uh, you know, trying to do, like, every mission in an area at once or back to back because you won't you just won't be able to Let's just see if there's anything in there you can't use it yet it's only a hologram thank you flood how very helpful of you well okay whoops okay we're fine Sorry, I'm being a little fiddly with the controls, but we're getting there. I'm not going down there to get it. We're up here. And I see the X's. Okay, so we can disperse those with water. Try to remember. Sorry, trying to carefully direct Mario. At least when, you know, things are covered in shadow, they do articulate 
or you know, show the thing hidden in the shadows with a. God dang it! I should have known that would have happened, but I was just like, maybe we can get to that ledge and then we're done. Okay, not too hard to get back up. Just we'll get there. Well, since I got knocked down. Bar's not. Okay, hold on. Uh, what is that? Is that on the inside of that? Sorry, I'm bubbling around. Like, again, I realize the jankiness of the controls. Oh, sorry, I'm bumbling. Sorry, I was thinking of it completely wrong. It's like, well, everything else is covered in water. Ooh, ooh. Mario, Mario, Mario. Mario, okay. Back on the other side. Shoot. Can't see. I'm stuck. Got it. Okay, there we go. Now, if we get that other blue coin, then we also got ten, you know, get back up to the red coin, grab that blue coin that's also up there. Okay, sorry, forgive my fumbling. Again, I now, I do recognize just like, okay, the controls are a little jankly and the camera's also the same, but I think there's still a lot to appreciate. I. I so was surprised to find out when I grew up that this like was a very contentious Mario game. I do recognize, whoop, I do recognize how in some ways it is, but I, even though I say it's like, it's been a while, but it was like, I think there's still a lot to like here, and I agree with, I, I mean that. Oh shoot, I got, okay, try again. <laughs> Sorry, this would be a nothing if I just had uh, the upgrades that I don't have yet. Whoops. Blech. Hands are so sweaty. I'm not doing the M&M &M line, because I didn't say palms in the first place. Go away, you gusty gub... Oh, this readjusted? Oh, I suppose the wind is still blowing it. Nope, other way. Keep going. Oh, God. There we go. Water to grab the ledge. 
There we go. No, that's right. And we still gotta climb up. And there's a blue coin over there, but we are focusing on the shine sprite. As long as we don't get uh, shock footed. Depth perception's a little weird on that, but we're good. I was gonna say, another one coming for too, before too long. Oh, God. <laughs> It's coming together. <clears throat> well, let's see. What are we? Well, I also like had things sitting down for a bit. Let's check because what is it? I think it's eight per level. Let's see what the next one is. Just out of curiosity. Uh, PD Piranha Strikes Back. Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember. <laughs> He's just chilling. Oh, jeez. Trying to... Yeah, we gotta, like, climb over there. Finn, what are you doing? Whoops, okay, I'm like, I'm gonna fall off if I jump. that blue coin we need like one of the other upgrades to get based on its distance it's like we're not gonna be able to jump over to that Oh, that's right, I think. Phew, you saved me. Thanks, a bundle. Okay. The pump seems to have no effect while, it's, while it is moving. Uh... Biggest thing now, he's down and awake, so. Refuel. Oop, now he's carpet bombing. Do we got more of those pigs to fire? Oop, there we go. the wall so it's hard to adjust. Do it again. 
same process just now. He's got a couple of different moves. Wake up, Petey. I'm not trying to knock him out of the sky. Camera, wasn't there a first person fire mode? Where'd he go now? That. There we go. Creeping. It'd be great if, like, when he spits up water, it just, like, covers the place. I remember this one. I remember it being really annoying just because, like, yeah, him floating up in the air makes it really awkward to fight him. And, like, all the extra moves, so it's just, like, trying to, like, ploy him. There we go. That's how I can see the shadow. end of it. Chug a log, big boy. Boop. There we go. Uh, I'm going into a goo chrysalis and then blue gooing again. Was this how they wouldn't let me stand in the spot where the shine sprite was? Okay. Boop. Right. What will those remain? I'm just curious now, because now we're on like on a, we're kind of on a roll. So it's like, I, mean, I should do all the levels in each uh, world, but that'll take up a lot of time. <clears throat> but you know, we got a good start. We got you know quite a few. We did five levels there, so maybe this will be a good excuse to just like wrap up for now, and we'll continue next time and go on to the next world. So yeah, Mario Mr. Sunshine, I've got a lot of nostalgia for it, um, and you know, coming back to it, again, I recognize some of its wonkiness, but I want to keep going. So, we'll wrap up here for right now, next time we continue, continuing to clean the streets. So, until next time, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe and all that, this is Tamara, signing off.